here you have the water closet it's uh, very nice to know the exact cyrillic toilet and cyrillic toilet it can save you us maybe to know this word and how to read it i suppose that someone is working all the day here and you pay her something which is quite normal she makes a living this is the old soviet system so you just turn here and this is the old version but everything is working and everything is clean I can guarantee you that they come every five minutes every time that a man entered the lady comes and she cleans everything as much as possible but you have everything that you need for example you can wash your hand here Спроси там, кто потерял ключи вчера. Как вы вас зовут? Валентина Альбрайна. Валентина, да. При... Очень приятно. Там на... у себя на... Понятно. Все. До свидания. Someone has lost a key on the street and she cannot move out to uh, run after <coughs> people who have lost such key. One thing I want to show you about uh, in the street when you are walking, you need to take care about this guy. You look this building, it's old and so some stones can fall down from this balcony for example. It's not safe. Uh, this advice comes from my ex-mother-in-law and she has 60 living years of experience in the Soviet Union and the actual Ukraine and I think that's a damned good and we'll see a device and also during the winter because some snow snow it's not so dangerous but ice can fall from the top they will ask you if you want to pay nalishni daily credit card that means that do you want to pay by card credit card i know american and australian are using almost all time credit card in nalishni it means by cash if you pay for credit card, you simply say credit cards. Most of the time, they will understand. And remind this word, nadishni, nadishni. It means by cash. It just want to know if they have to bring the device for the credit card. thing you can find in Ukraine if you think that it's quite cold they will do their best to warm you so they have some special blanket and also some device to warm you so you can enjoy the season later until September October maybe and it's quite popular a lot of people like to be out and also because they want to smoke to smoke the shisha you know and you have to pay for this of course one of your daily mission is to buy this water so you can buy this by five liters but it's very heavy to carry on so this one is a two liter so you have with gas and without gas without gas it is written net azovana so it's in ukrainian sorry but i don't understand ukrainian be careful that this capsule is really closed very important and you put it on the fridge try to keep all time at least half liter for the night and during the summer it could be very very hot so you need water all the time and personally i also bring water for the tea the teapot to have nice water even if it's boiled i prefer to have good quality we have inherited of a guy who have abused too much of the booze it's 6 25 in the morning and he's the only one that's free here in this big room because <laughs> he's discussing with someone on the phone and uh, everyone uh, in the train station which is very big the train station is uh, hearing him and so the woman who is keeping the room is chasing him to the room right now because he makes too much noise. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, this is this guy. 
cannot stop to <laughs> to talk along. So this is a concert right now in Nitro. So now we are hearing a loud siren. So I ask myself, they are building the metro right now, and probably it will come with some explosion because maybe they are digging in the ground. Yeah, that was exactly what I was expecting for big explosion. When you are digging underground you have to use explosive. in every park you will find some specific area for the children so they can play here enjoy their time with their parents maybe you can find some women here alone but maybe they are not alone they are just married not because they are alone that means that they are single take care so here in ukraine usually people are wearing a ring on the right hand here where i have my ring the either women are wearing a ring on the right hand. It's likely 95% of time or maybe 99% that she is married. It probably doesn't worth to approach her and just try to respect her marriage. What you have to do as a foreigner in any restaurant first if you are with a lady and you trust her, you ask her maybe to check the bill. If you are with a translator that you trust, ask her to check the bill. Normally the good uh, Turk will do such a thing every time. Now, if you think that you shouldn't believe anyone, especially in Avisa, just check yourself. And of course, uh, it will be difficult without any understanding of Russian, and especially if you don't learn any theory. But of course you need the menu. With the menu, if you take time, you can check normally everything. It should be okay. Here, what is okay is to drop 10% of the bill in cash for the service. In France, the service, you paid it automatically. So I don't remember, maybe it's uh, 15. But here in Ukraine, really you need to drop 10% minimum don't put too much also for the service people will be happy with this so of course you need to keep some money all time with you in ukraine never drink on the top but here if you buy a bottle in such boutique you, you should check if it's really close never buy a bottle where in fact it's not fully encapsulated it means that something is going wrong and if you cannot say no or give back the bottle, mm, get it on it. Okay, you don't know what's inside. You could be sick and check your money because those little shops are likely to try to rip you off if they can. Now I would like to show you something for your security. When you run an apartment in Ukraine, there is a door. And this door is an armored all time. So you see three points. And here, for example, you can see that the neighbor has a security system which is normally under private security control. There is a tag, maybe it's just a tag, but maybe it's real, you don't know. So to give you an other idea about how big could be uh, the door, so you can see my hand. One of the problems is you have a key, but you don't know if some people, and not necessarily the owner, has 
only this key. I mean that maybe some other people could have this key. They could come here, run two days, make a copy, and you don't know. As a matter of fact, that means that you should bring with you as much as possible your passport, number one, your credit card, number two, and your cash. Or maybe your cash, number two, and your credit card, number three. Whatever you want. That is what I think. And your phone as much as possible also, but generally speaking, you will keep your phone with you. Uh, you need some mini minimum precaution. In 11 years, nothing bad happened to me. I wanted, I don't know, I came here 25 times, but uh, I've been in several cities. So I wanted maybe at least 50 apartments. So this is a typical Russian car from the Soviet time with the dust from the Soviet time. But you can see that tainted glass. The glasses are not alignment. I would not have a crash with this type of car because I think that you finish uh, with God in a cloud of dust. <laughs> <laughs> this is a common part of the building and I want to show here right now what's bought. So this type of is uh, very common. We have the looks to have a lift. So this is an old lift but is working. Uh, my best advice if you have only one or two uh, floors is maybe to go on foot and avoid this because if you are blocked inside I wish you good luck. This is the stairs so you can see this old device for the trash but it's definitely not working. This is the, the gas pipe here and you can see here the postal box mm. here we are in the central autobus station you have uh, the desk here and so you can buy your ticket here a lot of little shops we go right now to the platform so platform you can see here three four five Five, six, seven, and the bus are coming on those platforms. So I'm waiting here, but I don't, don't know which one. But it's not important because I think they are communicating each other and they are not separated. So let's see if this. Yes, it's not so difficult. Okay, maybe she will come from the left. Maybe she will come from the right. But anyway, she will not escape running because it's 31 degree centigrade already <laughs> and it's not 10 o'clock. So let you imagine how hot it is. So now you are on the lift <laughs> and the rule for Westerners is very simple. You subtract one on every button. That means that the zero is uh, in Cyrillic, for the one who know how to read this, is supermarket. Supermarket. So the supermarket is underground. It's minus one for you. You have to go below because you have entered, in fact, on the zero floor, which means one for the Russian. Be careful about this because if a woman tell you, okay, we meet in 10 minutes on the second floor and you are on the zero, you need you need what? You need to go on the upper floor, which means the first floor for you. So the second floor for her is the first floor for you. Simple. Here in Ukraine, I have seen few Tesla and they start to take care about this special device to charge your electrical car. And this is a special parking area to put your car and to charge it. And each time I, I struggle to find the, the right way to close it. And um, 
the first time I came to the apartment, I needed five minutes to find out the way to open the door. And I haven't went to the upper floor and to the lower floor to see if my key could open another uh, apartment. Ah, yes, here it is. One, two, three, four. It's um, important to talk about this. This is the place where you can change money. You will find those places everywhere in Ukraine. Try to avoid the one who are close to the train station, into the airports, and also most of the time in the very city center like Kreshatik, the big avenue in Kyiv. You also need to show some banknotes very neat and not damage it, that's very important. Look around you before entering if you are not followed. Don't let anyone to too much close of you. And those little desks are very convenient and they are opened over a very big range in terms of schedule, including during the evening and sometime late in the evening. So in fact, uh, there are some other platforms and platforms are divided in two, departure and arrival. So, <laughs> I, fortunately, I asked a guy and he showed me here where people are supposed to arrive. So I hope that I will go in the, in the right direction. Now, this is for toilet. It's, it's quite difficult if you don't speak any Russian. I think you, you will be in trouble because I couldn't even read the board and uh, yes I can read the board but uh, I don't know the name of the city it's very very little city I cannot guess from where the lady is coming because it's very small village probably but anyway okay you have a phone you have surely a way to communicate with her and she will help you don't worry relax you will find her okay i'm gonna to ask it's better to ask the question two times to be sure they give you right information in ukraine they will give you the right information maybe if you there is a mistake it's because you didn't really understand but now in arabic countries <clears throat> Some guys are ready to tell you everything just to please you even if they know nothing and uh, or just because they, they want to engage the conversation especially if you are a pretty uh, young woman <laughs> they can even bring you to make some visit of you don't know Hi guys, so if you buy a bouquet of flowers in Ukraine for a woman the price for example of this bouquet I bought nine it was 450 grivens so I wanted you to know the price it can vary somehow but don't get a big bill of 50 dollars for let's say nine flowers because this is the wrong price. The lady I met in the street was honest and all was fine. I prefer those people who work in the street so it helps them to make a living. I help also the, the poor from time to time. A little coffee outside the city center. It looks like a more normal coffee. The pastry is not so fresh and quite surprising they gave me this teapot and so here you have the pastry and some bottle A little story from the central uh, Kiev main station here and I was waiting at uh, the taxi when a disabled car to me and I was very busy with my phone searching the taxi having some problem and I did not want to under this guy so he jumped to the next woman who was behind me and I could hear in Russian what she told him she told him you know my grandmother she's also disabled 
and she is working, still working. And so the guy left and without saying a, a word. Uh, it is named here anecdote. It's the same word in French. It just means a very little and small story. I just had lunch and I really enjoyed this lunch. The woman is very uh, cute. I know her for five years and it's all about sparks in the eyes and the moment is very intense and full of emotion and this is exactly what you should drink with a woman guys just enjoy the moment enjoy enjoy the life and enjoy the beauty here in ukraine and this woman was telling me you didn't see the woman on the next table beside us and I told her no no not specially and uh, when I looked at the woman yes they were quite beautiful and she told me but you don't take care about this and I told her well, you know I'm so used about beauty in Ukraine and she told me because when I have some foreigner coming to me man they are turning their head in every sense it's possible if they are work, da, da. Also. If they walk on the street, they are like a, uh, like a toupee, you know. <laughs> they cannot stop. There are some very, very beautiful women with different type of beauty in the face. There are such variety of beauty, brunette, and some have some oriental style, it, uh, Italian style. They can have Nordic style, and it's it's incredible. I mean, you have. A whole bunch of different uh, genetic type of, of beauty here. That's absolutely insane. And we are just here in Ukraine because in Russia you will have more Eurasian people from the very north, from the very east, and also for, from the, I would say, I told you about the Eurasian. It's means about the frontier with China and so on, so they can have such type of Asiat, Asiatic face. So, for the pizza, it seems to be that we have different habits. So they bring you the plate with the pizza and they give you a little plate where you should put your little piece of pizza and each time you download a new piece and you transfer to the small plate. Uh, we don't do this in France, we directly eat in the big plate.